From my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Hi, I'm Dr. Austin Hitt and I'm an Associate Professor of Science Education at Coastal Carolina University. Today I'll be talking about the rewarding and challenging profession of science teaching. If you'd like to know more about how you can become a science teacher, I provided my contact information at the end of this video. First, let me share with you why I find science so fascinating. Science is one of humankind's greatest intellectual achievements. It allows humans to make accurate and reliable explanations and predictions about all types of phenomena. For example, science provides us insights as to how the universe and our planet formed. Additionally, science is an infinite source of all sorts of technologies such as smartphones and computers which help us be, stay better connected and medical technologies such as MRI scanners which peer inside the human body and help doctors better diagnose and treat medical conditions. Now I'm going to tell you about two more interesting things about science. One, science is often contrary to our common senses and two, science is often counterintuitive. What do I mean when I say that scientific explanations are often contrary to our common senses? To clarify, I don't mean those norms or memes that everybody knows. I'm referring to the five senses, sight, touch, taste, smell, and hearing. I have a simple audience participation activity that will demonstrate how scientific explanations can contradict our common senses. All you have to do is observe the image that pops up on the screen. So are you ready? If you believe you saw a yellow banana, you'd be partially correct. I concur that the image you saw on the screen is a tropical fruit that's commonly referred to as a banana. However, I disagree with the assertion that the image is yellow. From a strictly scientific perspective, your eyes cannot detect wavelengths of light that correlate with the color yellow. Hmm. So, how do we see yellow? Well, human eyes contain special color detection cells called cones. There are three different types of cones. Each is attuned to a special wavelength of light, red, green, and blue. So how is it that we can see yellow if we don't have receptors for detecting yellow light? Well, the scientific explanation truly contradicts our human common sense notions of the world. The yellow banana you see on the screen is not the result of your eyes detecting light rays with wavelengths of 570 or 590 nanometers, which correlates with the color yellow. Instead, your eyes are detecting a combination of light wavelengths that correlate with the colors red and green. If my explanation seems odd to you, that is because it contradicts your common sense notions of the world. Engineers and designers use this insight in order to construct color screens for computer monitors, smartphones, and even television sets. The diverse palette of colors that you see on these screens is produced by combining red, green, and blue light. Hmm. Well, now let's consider the counterintuitive nature of scientific explanations. So starting early in infancy, humans are actively observing and developing theories for how the world works. Most of the time, our intuitive theories are very useful. They help us efficiently and safely navigate the world around us. However, in the context of the science classroom, our intuitive theories are often contrary to the accepted scientific explanations. For example, young children develop and internalize a very practical intuitive theory of heat. They readily internalize the general rule that the intensity of heat is directly related to how far or close they are in proximity to the object or heat source. This is a very useful intuition or rule of thumb. For example, a child knows that in order to get warmer, he or she must move closer to the heat source. Conversely, such a theory of heat can help children avoid a nasty burn by staying away from a fire or not touching a hot stovetop burner. Now let's see how this intuitive theory fares in the context of a scientific inquiry. Let's pick the example of the seasons. Well, the intuitive answer is that it feels hotter in the summer because the earth is closer to the sun. Conversely, it's colder during the winter months because the earth is further away from the sun. 
However, the scientific explanation is, is that the distance between the Earth and the Sun does not significantly change over a solar year. The changes in temperature experienced during the different seasons are directly attributable to how the Earth is tilted on its axis. During the winter, the northern hemisphere receives less direct sunlight and subsequently it's colder. In the summer, the reverse is true. The presence of greater intensity of sunlight heats up the atmosphere and produces higher temperatures. In fact, science content is often counter to our senses and intuitions, and it can be difficult for us to understand and then integrate into our thinking. Science education and research reveals that our intuitive theories about the world remain with us throughout our lives. Even individuals with the most intensive science training, professional scientists, often maintain intuitive theories and use them to explain the world. In order to help their students overcome their intuitive theories, science teachers have to be able to plan and use a diverse set of instructional techniques. However, changing students' intuitive beliefs is not easy. To facilitate such changes, science teachers need to have a deep understanding of how students learn science and have a diverse set of instructional techniques. This is where the MAT Science Education Program comes into the story. The MAT Science Education Program at Coastal Carolina University is an expedited 14-month program designed to provide individuals with the cognitive, social, and instructional tools they need in order to be effective science teachers. In addition to the coursework, based on the latest empirical research, students enrolled in the MAT program receive practical field experiences in schools. Throughout the program, the MAT students partner with science teachers and team teach a variety of science subjects. This combination of intensive research-based coursework and practical field experiences provides new teachers a framework for developing and implementing effective science lessons. Well, as I stated at the beginning of this video, science teaching is both a rewarding and challenging profession. If you think this profession may be for you, contact me for additional information. I'm happy to answer any questions about the program or science teaching in general. Thank you and keep on sciencing. We're in science. Elastic tubes and pots and pans, bits and pieces and